No thinny way. Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. Uh, as you can tell at the start of this video, I'm pretty excited because last night, in the dead of night, I was doing my thing in my garage, lifting some weights, getting those weights up so I get those bolder shoulders going. But uh, I, I, my focus on my task was broken into a million pieces, into shards, quite literally, because of um, a distraction that was thrown my way. Quite an interesting distraction, a message that I did not anticipate to get, ever really anticipate to get, uh, in my entire life. I was reached out to by um, one of the biggest voices in the music industry, the raging Canadian himself, Champagne Poppy, a.k.a. Drake, yes, Drake sent me a direct message via Instagram. Now, look, I'm not usually one to pop onto the internet and start leaking DMs, especially since um, uh, there are other artists who have reached out to me in the past and have had positive and negative things to say about the feedback I've given their music in a review. And I think that uh, coming on here to share social media, intimate social media messages from another person who sent me that may kind of be a violation of trust. But uh, what Drake sent me, I think you guys will see and will understand, is um, so crazy, so unexpected, and, and really something everybody should be aware of. Um, I think uh, uh, something everybody who is watching this video could put to use, in fact. All right, so it is quite a long message to get through, as you can see here. Uh, Champagne Poppy messages uh, <laughs> sent to me. I'm gonna read them out here. Um, no idea why he was, you know, reaching out to me at this point, what, what sort of drew him to the idea of messaging me in the middle of the night. Uh, but he just thought I really needed to see this apparently. Anthony, it's Drizzy. I know we don't really see eye to eye about music and that you are not the biggest fan of most of my albums. Thanks for the kind words on take care. And if you're reading this though, I'm, I'm really happy that Drake at least acknowledges, uh, the fact that I have enjoyed those albums, but it is what it is, you know can always hope you'll like the next one. That is true. I am always looking forward to the next Drake release with head held high with hopes in my heart, uh, thinking that it will be better than the last. Maybe it'll be something new and exciting. Uh, even though I didn't like the last record, I still thought that, um, you know, it might be something going into it that I might enjoy. So, but I'm not messaging you about your videos. I'm actually messaging you because I found a really great vegan cookie recipe. I love you to try. Drake is sending me a vegan cookie recipe. Wait, hold on. I have to find it in my bookmarks. Okay, here it is. I think now you guys are seeing why I, I had to share this. Ingredients. One half cup of coconut oil, solid but scoopable. I can do that. One and a fourth cups of light brown sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, one fourth a cup of coconut milk. It's suggested uh, you use the thicker Thai variety. That's a good idea. I, I didn't necessarily think of that. Uh, but any coconut milk apparently works. I mean, I'm probably going to go thicker, but uh, but I, I see what Drake is saying here. One fourth cup of unsweetened applesauce. That is that is usually ap, ap, they're missing a p there. Um, that is usually. Uh, a good replacer for various like vegan cookies, brownies as well. So that, that, that actually works. That's a common ingredient for vegan um, cookies. Uh, two and a third cups of all purpose flour. Okay. I mean, that's the base. That just makes sense. It says, be careful not to pack your flour. Yeah. You might want to sift it before as well. Um, not really sure what that means. Well, it's, it's because you, you don't want it to be all tight and together, Drake. Um, may, maybe Drake's not much of a baking guy himself. Maybe he's trying this recipe for the first time too. One teaspoon of baking soda, got to have that. One teaspoon of salt and two cups of chocolate chips. Use vegan chocolate chips if vegan, obviously. You know, you, you use the, the dark chocolate chips uh, that don't have any milk in them. Uh, flaky sea salt, but that's optional. Ooh, ooh I, I, Drake likes a little... Uh, sweet and salty. That's a, a sign of a refined palate. Preheat oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a little intense for, for cookies, no? Just shy of 400? I mean, I suppose you could. Line a large baking sheet with parchment paper set aside. Two, in a large bowl, whisk together the coconut oil, brown sugar, and vanilla, uh, beating until well combined. Add in the coconut milk and applesauce. He's missing the peon applesauce. Maybe he just doesn't know how to spell applesauce. That's 
kind of weird. He he ha he must know how to spell apple. He doesn't know how to spell applesauce and whisk until well combined and then set aside in a separate bowl. Combine the flour, baking soda and salt. Whisk well to combine. Add the dry ingredients, of course, into the wet mixture. Um, and, you know, it, it really is like a bad move to put the wet mixture uh, on top of the dry after the dry is already like, you know, put the dry into the wet sort of you could slowly mix it in there and do it in uh, in little bits. Uh, the, the mix will be less chunky as a result of that. That's a good move. Stir until ingredients ingredients are combined. Uh, the batter will be very thick, like, like me. me. Fold in one and three fourths cups of chocolate chips. Uh, scoop three tablespoon sized mounds of dough onto the prepared cookie sheet, leaving a few inches in between each cookie for spreading. Bake for nine to 10 minutes or until the edges are golden and the centers have set. Press remaining chocolate chips on top of the warm cookies. I like that chocolate chips inside the cookie dough, but then also you put a little, you put a little love on top. I think that's a good move. And sprinkle with sea sacked salt if you want. Okay. So wow. A little extra salt on top of the whole thing. Cool cookies on the baking sheet for 15 minutes before transferring them to a cooling rack. Nothing worse than uh, a mushy sort of floppy cookie right out of the oven that you're putting your mouth on. You burn your mouth on it. Let the cookies cool. It's for the best. So that's the recipe. It also adds a tip that if the dough appears too sticky, add a little more flour of course, Drake, of course. No, no need to say that. We know we're we're not amateurs over here. All right, we've baked a thing or two on this channel. One tablespoon at a time, or if the dough appears too dry, add a tablespoon of coconut milk. I'd really appreciate if you could give this a spin and let me know if it's worth trying myself. <laughs> I presumed what Drake was saying, he hadn't tried the recipe himself. I guess I was right. Uh, appreciate you, Drizzy Out. That's that's Classic Drake. All right. Well, uh, listen, that is the damn thing. Drake DM'd me in the middle of the fucking night, and I can't believe it. It's insane, insane that he messaged me um, and that he was thinking of me. I'm, I'm amazed to even be on that man's mind to think that he would see he would come across a vegan cookie recipe and he would say, you know who would like that? That needle drop guy, he doesn't eat any animal products and he's given some of my records a fair shot, you know, regardless of whether or not he's enjoyed them, he's given them a fair shot. It's really nice to see that uh, uh, that's coming through in my videos, coming through in my content to the point where he appreciates what I do and he wants to send a little love back. I appreciate the thought. I appreciate the thought. I appreciate the effort on Drake's part here. And I think it's really nice and kind of him to think of me in this way and do this. So, um, you know, Drake, thank you. You're the best. Uh, if you're reading this is too late is great. You know, I think that record's going to be a classic one day and uh, proud of you. Really happy to see the continued success. And I think you're the best. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, in the next video. Hopefully you can put this recipe to use. You know, you let me know in the comments if you actually end up making some of these cookies, uh, given the ingredients and the process, they sound really simple, but also really, really yummy. Well, um, I think that is going to be it. You guys are great. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, <laughs> Drake DMs on Instagram uh, forever.